Thank you, thank you. Aaron was one of the first people I came out to. Yeah. Um, I was raised by fundamentalist Baptist missionaries. So I'm fine. <laughs> and then when I was 15 months old, just a toddler, my parents moved me to the heart of the Amazon jungle in Brazil. Yeah, because nothing says I love my snack-sized toddler <laughs> like moving it closer to the mouth of an anaconda. Uh, people see me, they, they have questions. They see me, they have questions. Uh, and it's, it's true, it really is. I was born left-handed. Yeah, apparently a force to write with my right hand. People thought that I was going to be a doctor. No, just bad parenting. Bad parenting. Uh, I, I've been, um, I, I am trans. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, Non-binary, gender fluid. Gender fluid, uh, two words that have struck fear into the heart of my agent. Also, can we, can we admit that gender fluid is a horrible way to refer to anyone? Like, which fluid? Vaginal? Seminal? Which one? For me, it depends on the day. Um, uh, but uh, I, I've had fun coming out. I've uh, been out for about a year. Uh, and, you know, people were very supportive when I came out. They were very supportive, which was incredibly disappointing. I was expecting a lot more hate. I need material, guys. Come on. Uh, uh, I, some people were surprised. My wife, my wife, she was very surprised. She had no idea she was a lesbian. <laughs> we have a daughter. Uh, her name is, uh, thank you. Her name is Zooey. And we are raising her in the reasonable jungles of Burbank. <laughs> yeah. Trying to give her a safer childhood than I had. When I was her age, the most dangerous thing that could happen to me uh, growing up in Brazil would be I could have been eaten by an anaconda, a jaguar, a piranha, a cannibal. Uh, we even had this tiny little fish that could swim up your pee hole <laughs> and eat you from the inside out. And not in the good way. The ladies know what I'm talking about. Yeah. The men... Uh. The most dangerous thing that could happen to my daughter growing up in Burbank, California is that she could get discovered by a talent agent. So, <laughs> poor thing's going to have a much dangerous childhood, much more dangerous than me. Um, you know, one of the reasons I came out was for my daughter, Zooey. You know, I wanted to teach her that you have to be your authentic self, that you, can't, you shouldn't have to hide in the closet and hide who you are. Uh, that's the noble reason. Uh, the real reason is children are very bad at keeping secrets. <laughs> they are little snitches. Grandpa, daddy likes to paint his nails and wear shiny leggings. I want shiny leggings, grandpa. That's how Phil found out. <laughs> yeah, he's praying for me. Uh, but uh, uh, but it, was, uh, it was good coming out. I came out to my mom a couple of times. Uh, once when I was a kid. We lived you know, in, in, uh, in the jungle, but for the last couple of years, we lived in this nice colonial town, and we had television. Uh, and I could watch Charlie's Angels. Yeah. And I, I, and, you know, and I, I was seven, uh, but I was very attracted to the angels. Like, I wanted to take them out on a date and hold their hand. You know, what else are you going to do on a date when you're seven? I mean, it's going to hold a hand. Uh, but I also wanted those shoes, that blouse, and that hair, so I knew I was different. And this one day, I was, I was crying, and I, I climbed up on my mom's lap. She was in a rocking chair, and I was like, Mommy, I, I want to be a girl. And she looked me in the eye, and she said, You'll outgrow it. I did not. Uh, I, I came out to her uh, again last year, right after I came out with everyone else, uh, just before she passed away. Um, and uh, she had Alzheimer's, uh, so it may not have counted. Uh, <laughs> and I told her, you know, I'm, I'm trans, and she said, well, that's why we forced you to write with your right hand. <laughs> yeah, apparently my left hand is very queer. Uh, when the nurse would roll her out to meet with me, you know, my, uh, she would, it was because sometimes Alzheimer's can be, can be funny, and the nurse would point to me and, and to my mom and say, who's that, who's that, uh, Donna? And she would reply with lipstick smeared on her lips, that's my husband. <laughs> and you're told to, like, kind of play along you know, with them. And this one time I was talking to her and she was saying, oh, I think I want to get a puppy. And uh, I had three dogs and she knew this, she had met them. Uh, but I said, you know, oh, I have three dogs. 
And she went, you do? She hit on me. My mom hit on me. So I'm, I'm fine. Uh, I'll leave you with this. Uh, my, my friend, I wanted to come out to people and have fun. I wanted to come out, uh, and I, I wanted to do this one thing. I wanted to tell them I was trans and then run away, like a trans bi. Uh, <laughs> And right before I came out to my one friend, Josh, I said, hey, I'm trans. Uh, and uh, he, he stopped me before I could leave. And he went, huh. And then he checked me out. I never felt more seen. When I, when I went home to my wife uh, and she stopped laughing, uh, she said, welcome to being a woman. That's my time. Thank you so much. Uh, give it up for Aaron Moore, one of my favorite people on the planet. <laughs>